Knowing the basics about cannabis and the type of testing is one thing, but you may be most concerned about eliminating THC quickly from your system prior to a drug test. There are some predictable and guaranteed methods that will work and others that might not work. Welcome, my name is David Jolly. Removing evidence of cannabis consumption is absolutely necessary if you're facing a drug screen. There are guaranteed ways to remove such evidence, and I always recommend practicing religiously these methods that do, that do produce results. Such methods, as boring as they are, include time, abstinence, water, and a good diet. Of course, there are some other methods that may work and others that are simply old wives' tales. The easiest and only guaranteed way of testing negative is to abstain from using any marijuana products prior to testing. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to determine how long you must remain abstinence, but of course, longer is always better. For infrequent users, you may be okay three to four days after use, while semi-regular users might need at least seven to 10 days. For a heavy user, it might be more than 10 days and even up to 60 days. There are just too many variables, such as how often you consume, your body's fat levels, and of course your own chemistry. So know your limits, adjust accordingly, and add some more time to these calculations. A common practice in flushing out THC literally is to drink copious amounts of water. There are some studies that have determined that drinking large amounts of water prior to a urine test does lower the carboxy THC in the urine and may actually lead to a negative result. There is one problem with this practice that we cannot overlook. Testers will be on to you if you drink so much water that the sample ends up being diluted. These samples will be rejected and a suspicious eye turned in your direction. I have faced dozens of judges who believe a diluted sample is effectively a positive sample. Knowing this, drink lots of water up to the day before the test, but do not drink too much water the day of testing. Exercise may assist in the detox process as it does burn body fat, and that's where THC loves to hide. But be careful with this method as there is some evidence that sweating out THC could actually result in a spike of THC. So do not exercise with any vigor one to two days prior to testing. For more videos on how to quickly and safely pass drug tests and criminal law topics, please subscribe to our channel.